We will take you live to the border in just a moment. But first, President Biden now in Georgia, despite criticizing its sweeping voting legislation and supporting the woke boycott against the state. All of this raising the question of whether companies should even play a role in social and political issues. Former Labor Secretary nominee Andy Puzder says corporate America is pushing a radical agenda on investors and investors don't know about it. Andy joins us now. He's also a witness at today's Senate Banking Committee hearing on the dignity of work. Andy, great to see you. So explain, you, should these social and political issues have or play a part in boardrooms across America? No, I know they should not. And you really, what you have is these, these investment fund managers, these large funds like BlackRock, Vanguard, State Street, not to pick on them, there's, there's like you know, 60 of them out there. They all follow these, what they call ESG investment criteria, environmental, social uh, uh, governance criteria, where they try and impose these these progressive agenda items on the company in whose stock they own. Now, if you bought into a mutual fund, maybe you don't want to, if you're the, the, uh, the people that manage your money to be investing mm -hmm. in high cost, low return, say environmental, radical environmental projects. You want them to try and generate a return for you. But that's that's not what that's not what's happening. They're out there trying to push these social uh, policy issues on the boards of the companies that they have invested in. But they're investing with your money. They're not investing their right. money. And uh, and so you're paying for their political opinions when really they should be just concerned about bottom line and profits for investors. Here's part of your written yes. testimony. It is fascinating. Corporations like all businesses, you say, are engines of economic production and people need more than just wealth. That is why healthy societies have healthy families, strong religious organizations, flourishing arts and other social institutions through which people find love, moral clarity, inspiration and emotional stability. Businesses are not and cannot be the primary agents for meeting those needs. That being said, you're saying all of this is happening. This wokeness in American corporations, investors just don't even have a clue that they're paying for it and that it's even happening? Well, I think they're waking up. You know, you're reading a lot more about it. You're hearing a lot more about it. Uh, people are getting articles out there. There have been some great pieces in the Wall Street Journal. I'm involved with a group called Second Vote Advisors that, that's actually offering investments, ETFs, where, uh, where they're not focused on politics, where you won't be supporting a leftist political agenda. We've got a couple of ETFs out there. One is Second Amendment Border Security. One is on the issue of life, where you can invest and know that you're not going to be supporting uh, these leftist political positions. So I, I think people are are coming around to this, and I think there's going to be pressure on companies. You know, even you mentioned the the Georgia voting law. Mm -hmm. There was a poll out on Rasmussen that said 37 percent of consumers were going to buy fewer Coca-Cola products mm. because of what Coca-Cola did with respect to that Georgia voting law. Well, that's the kind of things corporations shouldn't be doing and don't want, and, and, and their investors don't want them Andy, to do. Andy, if I, if I come not, before you, you go. Why would you alienate your customers? I, with the minute I have left, this is Senator Mark Warner, a Democrat. He's making the case for this, that businesses should value more than just profits. Listen real quick. The idea that, um, that the only standard you need to hold a CEO accountable towards is short-term, um, quarter-by-quarter profitability is is a frankly not the right metric. I have not met a, a CEO, CEO from the literally hundreds of firms I invested in as a venture capitalist or large firms that don't talk about, well, our biggest asset is our people. Wanted to get your response to that. Well, number one, we shouldn't be focused on quarter to quarter results. The SEC reporting forces CEOs to do that, but the good CEOs do focus long term. And secondly, every company's most important asset is their employee base. They need to be happy. They need to be satisfied. They need to be well compensated. You can't make a profit if you don't have an employee base that's well satisfied. But your focus should be on profitability. You've got mm -hmm. to have good employees. You've got to have good suppliers. You've got to take care of your customers. You have to do all of those things. But you can't be out there untethered in pursuing these social policy goals. You should be focused on, on, on getting a return for your shareholders, your investors, the people who put their money in your hands for you to manage. Having run CKE restaurants and all those chains across the country and dealing with employees on a, on a firsthand basis for so many years, Andy, it's great perspective. Appreciate you joining us. Thank you.